Hello guys. In this video we will discuss Method overloading, method overriding, interface and typecasting. If the method of superclass inherited by the subclass it is known as method overriding. As you can see class dog is inheriting make sound method from animal class. Rules for method overriding. Pause the video for a while and read the rules carefully. In the following example we have used the method of superclass in our subclass using inheritance concept. And also we have used upcasting technique. Commonly no method overriding. When the methods have a same name but different parameters and return types, it is known as method overloading. It is useful when we need a same functionality for different types of parameters. Method overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism. Overloading is done in the same class. The following example is for method overloading as you can see the same method name with a different argument list. Here you can see the difference between overloading and overwriting. Pause the video and do check out the differences. Interface is a pure abstract class that contain only abstract methods. It is defined using interface keyword. Contain only static final variables cannot contain a constructor because interface cannot be instantiated. Interface can extend another interface. The class can implement any number of interfaces. Let us see some properties of interface. An interface is implicitly abstract. You do not need any abstract keyword while declaring an interface. Methods in interface are implicitly public or public by default. A class can be inherited just from a superclass but can implement a number of interfaces. Here in this example of interface animal, we have overridden all of its method in our subclass using implements keyword. The next topic is typecasting. Assigning a value of one type of variable to an another type is known as typecasting. As you can see in this example here we have typecast double to n. Integer there is a loss of precision. We have two types of typecasting implicit explicit or up and down casting. In the upcasting method we will create the reference object of parent class and will point towards the subclass. Dot make sound here. Reference object is calling make sound method which is currently belong to subclass. Currently we are discussing object type casting in that object down casting. We will create the object of parent class here cat of anim dot make sound. We are down casting animal class to cat class. In Java up casting is automatic while down casting is manual. I think you guys have doubt why upcasting is automatic while downcasting is manual? Well upcasting can never fails. Let us assume you have a group of different animals. If you're trying to downcast all the animal to cat, maybe there is a chance that some of the animals are actually dogs or any other animal. While downcasting the process fails, so downcasting is manual. If you are enjoying our video tutorial share our app with your friends and don't forget to rate us on Play Store.